Hey everybody, welcome to Life with Gwen and Joe. I'm Joe, this is my beautiful wife Gwen, and we are here down on one of God's most incredible locations. Today was an incredible day down here at the beach, and I've been looking around and it's just, it's, it's an amazing, awe-inspiring view from this balcony we're standing on. Yeah. And we have, we have a great show for you today. Uh, the topic of today is second chances stay tuned that's because right because we all need second chances that's right and you won't get another chance to see it if you don't stay tuned <laughs> life with god is so good so come join us on this fun life where we put god in the center of everything Okay, so second okay. chances. That's right. All right, well, I, all, all we know is that all of us are grateful for him. This morning, woke up and something just extraordinarily beautiful came, came out of Joe's mouth, so. You know, uh, I looked out from the second floor balcony this morning out into this incredible ocean and I saw the, the horizon line and I saw the cirrus clouds that were out there over the ocean the seagulls, there was dolphin out there. And I had this thought, I opened up my eyes this morning and I thought, you know what, we, we close our eyes at night and we close the chapter on that day. And in the morning we wake up and we start processing where we're at, what, you know, where we are. And, and I thought, you know what, it's an amazing thing that, that, that God gives us a new chapter every single day. That really just hit me in my heart and, and I thought, what, a, what an amazing thing that, that He gives us this life that we live each and every day. And we get thousands and thousands and thousands of opportunities to take advantage of and to be accountable for these days that He gives us. And I was just very humbled by that. And I was very awed by that. No, I mean, that was just such a moving statement. We fall asleep, that one's over, and then you wake back up and your eyes are opened up to another whole day that you get this opportunity to get it right with God. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of people are using it for their idols. I mean, it's another whole day to go overeat or to go make money or to whatever, but it was intended for us to get our lives right with God, to find Him, to reach out to Him. Every single day, mm. we get to wake up and have another have another experience and god gives us that and you it's just a chance right and, and and i did feel like man i better be accountable for those things i better not take those things for granted and just and just uh see it as a frivolous thing it is a it, it, it one day of this is a gift one day if we only had one day and you wake up, and that's it. It's amazing. What yeah. you're saying is amazing. I know that, um, oh, I think about the Bible is full of scriptures and everything to let us know that really the whole concept behind Jesus Christ is that He comes back in and gives all of earth this second chance to get everything like God wants it. And we can do that. I mean, it's all in the want. It's all in the want. When your want and God's want are one and the same, I mean, then you're walking in that spirit. Gwen, can we talk about, you know, there, there's sin and we're all sinners. We're all born into it. Can you talk about how God forgives us if we pray in Jesus' name, but we, we can't continue in our sin, but, but there, there's the second chance. There, I mean, the second chance was Christ, that He goes in there and shows us that he, as God's son, can go in there and lay down his entire life for God. You know, whatever God wanted. The world's got to know that I love the Father. I do exactly what he has commanded me to do. Those were the words echoed by Noah. I know all of these great men and women of God were all ones that were just wanting what God wanted. And that's just not such a hard concept. I mean, there are a lot of people that want, they want what their parents want. A wife wants what her husband wants. The man wants what his boss wants. I mean, it just goes on and on. I mean, that you're diving into the world 
of the authority above you and and when you do that when you when you dive into that then it just uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful thing to wake up to and and let's go back after it again today and I know that a lot of people have been on um, like this 20-day walk with us and and um, you know it's it's kind of a psychological thing to, to, to break life up into increments God broke it up into 24 hours but you know if we shorten it a lot of times people feel like well I can do that but then you go this 20 days and you realize I can keep this up for life this is a this is a choice I'm making not for 20 days so that I can go indulge this is a choice I'm making so that God every day is is happy with us and and, and you know when we talk about second chances and the forgiveness of sin and all that it, it again hits my heart so heavily to 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 realize the incredible price that Jesus Christ paid so that we can have that second chance he did but for him I'm pretty sure it was he, he there's a lot of sweat and blood in that garden because no one wants to go to the point of where you're give, going through a torturous death, but he would go through a torturous death for God. That's how much his want and God's want were one. He's willing to go that far into into it, and God's not asking you to go through a torturous death every day. He's saying, "Come on, guys, push the plate back. Come on, push the desire for money, for lust. Quit it. Stop it. You know." Uh, what, these things are so fleeting. Any lust that you've got, I mean, if you will stop it and then turn, you know, put your stopwatch on for for 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, the desire goes away. It is not even something you wanted. Uh, your want literally disappears. Uh, it's not a real want. It's a test, which means it's uh, very fleeting. You've just practiced those things. You get ready for that battle, and then the next thing you know, um, your your desires and God's desires are one. He gives you back a happy, a jewel, you know, a, a very much a, a great re a reward, and so it's very beautiful. And and you know, I, I think that a lot of uh, of those impulses are fleeting, but sometimes with with people, they they can be reoccurring, and I think that that those impulses and those those desires that you're talking about need to be replaced and and need to be replaced with with uh prayer mm. and focusing on the right things in order to pu mm. pu push those desires out and to replace them with spiritual things first john is full of this you know that you can't continue in the sin the the, the second chance uh romans 6 you know paul saying that uh, should you continue in sin that grace may abound by no means that you know this whole concept of grace was there for you to stop sinning so the second chance wasn't there for you to continue in it the second chance was there for you to wake up and just like you're waking up to this new day that Joe's talking about at the start of the show I mean it's you're waking back up you go to sleep you slumber you know, and then you wake back up and you've got another day. Oh my word. If everybody so lived good. that way, if everybody <laughs> lived that way, like if you thought, hey, look, my prognosis is I'm not going to live more than three more years. And so you say, the next three years, I'm going to do is wake up every day and just be so on it. And oh, I, my heart's still beating. My heart's still beating today. Well, then you would realize I owe it all back to God. My heart's still beating. I owe my heart. God made my heart. I'm going to go owe oh, oh, it all back to God. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So that's huge. And honestly, just the confession, I mean, people don't realize when they say, I just want everything to be right again. If you just stop, repent, and then confess, it's amazing. It's the, the it's the real reason. It's the real way to go back and say I'm, I'm just going to get everything right now. It's just confession. Absolutely. So, but um, how about Proverbs twenty four sixteen? Okay. And uh, this this is uh, quick and simple, but it, but it, it has a tremendous amount of meaning. 
For though a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful. A tremendous amount of hope. Just, it is. just right there. I mean, don't don't you love don't you love this whole mm. life of just grace, and then to get it right. What? Hey, what's the rest of the world doing? I mean, they've got to be bored to tears. I mean, this getting up, and you and I, you know, we get up and Joe and I are praying every day for the Spirit. I mean, literally. Oh God, help us find your Spirit. It's every day. I mean, we are waking up and doing it. We, we want to get it exactly right. We want to be right in your spirit, what you want, what your desires are. What else is there? I mean, pray tell, give me something else that is more interesting or more uh, beautiful, more fulfilling than this life of grace through Jesus Christ where you're getting to get That's up right. and do and it. I've said this, I think, in the past that you know, I, I've uh, I've done several things in my life, and any venture, any 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 path a man walks down, where he where he's after something. At the end of that path, if you don't have the spirit in your life, whether whether it's brought you money or fame or whatever, th there's a certain emptiness to it. And if you're not close to God, somehow that endeavor ends up feeling very empty. And mm -hmm. so it really all, when I woke up this morning, when we talk about being in the spirit and praying, I looked out into to this incredible majesty, this incredible glory that God creates out here. And you just can't help. It says that, that a man shall know God purely by what has been made. And when I see this, uh, I know, I know that, that there's a, a mighty God behind it. So. so, well, we just want to thank you for, guys for joining us. I mean, we are, we're excited about this life. We want you to be excited about it. We would love it if you would join us in uh, not just a 20 day walk, but for a life walk. You know, the life with Gwen and Joe really, we're just really trying to say, it's life with God. It isn't about us. Amen. But yeah. if, if we can be just like a signpost and point upward and just say, it's about life with God. Is your heart beating? You, did you wake up today? When you get up in the morning and you got you, your little sleepy eyes and you wake up and you go, bing, I'm, I've been in a coma last night, you know, and <laughs> I've been sleeping and then I wake back up, now's your chance. And it is called, by the grace of God, second chances. And I don't take them lightly. I know Joe and I both, we're so grateful. We are so appreciative of life. We, we want you to know, because Joe and I talk about this, we sincerely want you to write in. If this is making a difference in your yeah, life, please. if this is like, we want to know you and we want to know what God's doing in your life. And we know God's real and we sincerely, with all our hearts, do care and care that your life is getting closer and closer to God and His Son, Jesus Christ. We love doing it together with you guys. So thank you. Thank you guys thank for you being guys with for us. Joining us. We love y'all. Should mm -hmm. I end? Should I end with Second uh, Peter three nine? I love that. All right. So it says, "The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance." Ah. Beautiful. Thank you, Joe. Thank That's you. Beautiful. Love oh, you, John. Love you. Love, love you all. guys. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Joe likes scuba diving. See that? It spells scuba. That's right. Scuba diving, which stands for what? Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. That's right. And that's why I stay above the water and breathe with my self-contained lungs and then you go underwater and, that's right and breathe with a different unit i don't need a scuba tank because i was trained by aquaman Tarzan had to go swim underwater, didn't he? That's right. That's right. Swim in the river, brave the crocodile. Did you have a fight a crocodile? 
I did fight a crocodile. Did you really? It was stuck, but I fought it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the world that. They've been tricking us. I Hollywood tricked us. I fought a stuffed crocodile. <laughs> Who won? He did. <laughs> That'd probably have to be, I'd probably drown trying to buy the stuff to talk about. I know, I still have a scar. You want to see it? You got a scar? Yeah. I know, it's not going to be that. Okay, we can go to Pompano's now. <laughs> Bye, everybody. What are you doing? Thankful for living. Thankful for living. Yeah, yeah. Keep shining my light. Living my life. Living my life. Every day is the same. And it's thankful for the grave. And I'm thankful for living. Thankful for living. Thankful for living, yeah. Lightning flashes across the sky. The church repents and maybe grieves as. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Strips the trees up, summer leaves, and though it's shaking, still believe us. Jesus is no reason that I'm not. Keep shining my light.